Let's see what else we can do around here. Head it on up. Here's another extra life. Whoa! It looks like the hub areas are a good place to accumulate lives. Easy does it. Well, there's the way to another level, it looks like. I'll get there in just a moment. That second jump really makes me feel uneasy, because it doesn't have a whole lot of height to it. I'm not going all the way back to the start for that other one, though, so... I feel like I'm pretty good on lives for the time being. Oh, getting past this guy might be a little tricky. But, there we go. I think he spotted me as I was going in, but that hardly matters at this point. Ahoy, dog hands! Capital job unloading that cargo last night. You're the crown jewel of my operation. Do me the service of approving your worth yet again by protecting the treasure key that I have stored down there. Well, they're about to lose the job. <laughs> Alright, we got throwing stars. Nothing we haven't dealt with before. Alright, so, what do we got to deal with around here? Oh, that's... the wheel is apparently breakable. And up ahead, a few more clues. All right. Break the wheel. This thing will never drive again. I need a stable platform. Ugh. This could be bad. The nice thing is that the uh, searchlights don't immediately kill you. There's a couple up there, but I think I have to come back around that way anyway, so... There's one straight ahead. But that looks like another alternate path. Hmm. Guess I should climb this. have in here. Oh! 
Well, that was a near thing. <laughs> oh, didn't even notice these bottles up ahead. Alright, sneaky sneaky. Checkpoint activated. And throwing stars, watch out. Watch out better. I do wish there was an easier way to accumulate lives. Then again, that method that I found back in the hub area seems pretty simple in itself. With enough patience, you can get as many lives as you want to, and that nearly ended badly. <laughs> I will have my coins. My two cents on the matter. Stop looking this way. Uh, is there any way to dodge that? I'll take care of you this time. This guy is not attacking from an ideal place. But it looks like as long as I keep moving, he he's not really going to hit me, so... I'm surprised you didn't break that safe with that body slam. <laughs> and now we have enough to open the safe. We didn't need 30 this time, just 20. And there it is. This one was cake. Input 719. They're all cake, really. You know, at this point, you'd think they would stop investing in combination locks. Interesting. Chris Cooper's dive collection technique. This move is an extension of the dive move you already know. Just jump and hit the triangle button near breakable objects for some fast-breaking, fast-collecting action. Alright, well, be sure to give it a try. So basically all I have to do is... jump and then dive? Let's see, is this a good place to try it? Oh, okay, so it's basically like a stomp ability. Just curious if this rope goes anywhere. It does not. Okay. Then I guess we're done here. Looking good. Alright, just one more key that we need to find. But where's the other doorway that we need to go through? Let's see, there's one here, there was one there. Maybe the map will tell me? A cunning disguise. It's between... Uh, okay, so it's... Oh, okay, I guess... That's what that other doorway was right before this area? Right, so the other doorway was up here. Now I just need to find a way to climb up to it. I'm guessing I don't want to go near those. 
This looks like a probable way up. Hey Sly, you can adjust the game camera using the right analog stick. And to bring the camera behind you, click it. Oh, okay. So, click, click the uh, right stick to make the camera go the way I want it to. Excuse me. And in we go. Thirty bottles to find again. And we have a barrel. Those rats got pegged. Raleigh appears to have booby trapped this entire place. I'm gonna enjoy this. Don't you get it, Sly? If you step on that rug, forget about becoming a master thief. You'll be a master dart board. Wait a second. What if I jumped into that barrel for protection? I don't know. It looks pretty risky and very unsanitary. Only one way to find out. Okay, yeah, I guess we're gonna use a barrel. So if I step onto the carpet, okay, no problem. This looks like a pretty interesting level. Was there anything under this? I don't see anything. Okay, this one we're just gonna wanna jump over. Oh! So far, so good. Most. I bet if you stayed still inside the barrel, the guard won't be able to see you, even if he shines his flashlight on you. Should I bring the barrel with me? Seems a bit late for that. Uh oh. Well, good job. I am clearly standing on the perp on the carpet, but they are not shooting at me. What? Oh, never mind. They'll do it as I'm jumping away from it. And back to start we go. Looks like the barrel protects me from their little slime attack, too. So, that's good to know. Oh, and here's an extra life. Make up for the one I lost before. I haven't been missing any bottles, have I? What? Those dart things can be broken? So they can. Well, that sure would have been nice to know earlier. Oh, and you can break the books. Gotta get myself a little horseshoe here. Take our barrel with us to the next area. Yeah, I see you there, but I got the drop on you. A 
Barrel Trick is good for getting past those darts, but so far I've been able to take out enemies just by charging them and attacking them. My barrel is highly flammable. I'm gonna guess I'm gonna want to do something about that. Especially since I'm gonna need it for here. Any others in this direction? Nope. All right. Just walk down the middle. You should be okay. Uh-oh. I can't jump with the barrel? To the barrel, please. What? What is this? What? How is? Okay. Sure. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> that was a checkpoint. I thought it was gonna shoot at me. so bad so far. But now how am I going to get up there? There's nothing else over there, huh? What the? Alright, get back up there. Need to find out what that is. Maybe I need to do the, uh, little dive stomp on it. Ah, great. How am I gonna get back over there? Ugh! Well, that's one way to do it, I guess. Please grab the ladder. Oh, it's the safe, okay. So I'm not actually ready to come here yet. I need to get the rest of the bottles first. All right then. Also, I should have activated that sooner. Or rather, deactivated it. I believe this uh, signifies the importance of taking out traps as you get to them. Not bad, considering I can't jump anywhere. <laughs> Got a feeling there's something behind there. Ah, the old spinning staircase. Ok, 
Okay, there should only be three left now. Okay, well here's the key. So where are the book? Where are the rest of the bottles? Oh, there they are up there. Well, I don't think I need the barrel anymore, so... Let's just focus on climbing up there. Okay, I can't grab the cable. Onto the safe. The levels are overall pretty short, I'm finding. Which, again, nothing wrong with that. Press the circle to enter the vault code. With the help of a straight edge and compass, the answer was simple. Dial in 242. And here we go. Wow, already 17% complete. Impressive. Here we have another page. Oh, you lucky sly. This page features Karen Cooper Giwa's coin magnet technique. All she had to do was stand near money and it would magically jump into her purse. From now on, you'll automatically collect any coins you come near. Well, that definitely will come in handy. Too bad we don't have any nearby coins to experiment that on, but I'm sure we'll see it in later levels. This was a pretty interesting level. I like the idea of the barrel. Just wasn't expecting to have to take the same barrel throughout the entire level. Alright, now we have all seven keys, so now we can shoot ourselves out of the cannon, apparently. Hey, Sly, hit the select button to bring up your mission map. From there, you can check out the stats on places you've been to, and also take some shortcut warps to get around faster. Shortcut warps? That certainly would have made things a little easier. Okay. So, I can just select one of these and go to that level, I guess? Yeah, that would have been nice to know. Oh, well. Okay, cannon is ready. Oh, I could have gotten those one-ups. To the weather machine! How delightful! We have a guest. The only thing is... I hate unexpected guests! Listen, Raleigh. Wipe up my family and steal what's mine. You better expect company. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. How sloppy of me not to finish the job. Obviously, we should have snuffed you out as well. So, without further ado, let me make amends by what? Bloating to gargantuan size and squashing you like the insignificant bug that you are. Bring it on. Okay. Time for our first boss, it looks like. Um, yeah, I'm just going to run away from you until I get an idea of how I should attack you. Okay, looks like he shrunk down for a brief moment there. Probably need to wait for him to do that. Okay, hit him. All right, yeah, that that's pretty simple. And stay off the platforms that start lighting up. Oh! Didn't mean to fall there. Oh! Gotta be quick on the draw there.
All right, halfway there. So far, this boss seems pretty good. Oh, and each one that he's landing on now is going to fall automatically. Oh. Looks like I got a little too far ahead of him. But wait a minute, it's not going to fall as long as he's still bouncing on it. Oh. Theory broken. Well, avoiding this phase is a lot simpler now. Looks like I need to count out the number of times he bounces so that I know when it's time to counterattack. Pretty sure it's going to be after this one. Okay, on the fifth bounce, that's when he shrinks. Oh! Playing hopscotch. Did not expect. Blast it all! You've beaten me! Well, gloat all you want, Sly Cooper. You're no match for Mugshot, my villainous cohort in Utah. You'll see. Mesa City is so well guarded, a snake couldn't slither in without setting off alarms. <laughs> Raleigh section of the Thievius Raccoonus held detailed instructions on how to perform my ancestor Ryoichi Cooper's Ninja Spire Jump, a technique he developed while sneaking into the thickly fortified castles of feudal Japan. Finding a way off Raleigh's boat got a little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox, who, failing to find me, busted Raleigh and his crew. With the storm machine out of commission, boats found their way back onto the ocean, and the mystery of the Welsh Triangle faded from memory. My gang and I loafed around England for a while, enjoying the pleasant weather and then headed back home, excited for our next heist. I took the liberty of pinning your mission map up on the wall. You can use it to warp directly to any levels you've already visited. Once again, uh, let me say, I really like how those cutscenes look. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was a pretty good boss fight, and a pretty good first world, I gotta say. So, uh, we're off to a very good start here, but we're gonna go ahead and call it there before we head on over to the next area. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time!